And our sports anchor Sharif Aishak is in California with how the some Pelican fans are getting a taste of home in the Bay Area. We take you to the Hayes Valley neighborhood in San Francisco where we find boxing room. And on this afternoon, there's a gypsy jazz band playing for a packed house. People love coming in during the day, getting a Sazerac, some egg sardou, wash it down with another Sazerac, maybe a hurricane. You know, it's, a, it's a nice little spot. Steve McLeod is front house manager, and of course from New Orleans. He lived in Mid-City. McLeod moved to the Bay Area 10 years ago after Hurricane Katrina. It makes me feel like I'm home every time I come to work. McLeod is helping a restaurant of hungry food goers that are looking to wet their taste buds with some of New Orleans' finest food in the Golden Gate City. How long on a shrimp, oh boy? So, who's the chef behind all this Cajun cuisine and seafood? Fire alligator, yes. Justin Simino from Homo, who moved to San Francisco to go to culinary school, and the rest was history. Fortunate enough to meet these guys that are opening a new restaurant and uh, me being from Louisiana and them having a blank canvas, we kind of came up with this concept. So kind of born by us meeting together. You got some boot balls coming? Simino has been in San Fran for 10 years while Boxer Room has only been around since 2011. And in those four years, Simino has his staff whipping out some delicious items like oysters, boot balls, and egg sardou. But what's Simino's favorite thing to dish out? Shrimp po' boy is probably my favorite thing uh, in the world. So that, uh, I don't know, our gumbos, our eight buffets, uh, fried chicken. We got brunch going on right now. We got shrimp and grits, three odds and grits. So just a, just a whole mecca of good things coming out of here. Right now in New Orleans, everyone is really feeding for a certain type of food. And McLeod said that seafood is headed to his restaurant really soon. I think you may have an idea what I'm talking about. Yeah, and we're only a couple of weeks away from getting some boiled crawfish in here, too, and it's going to be really nice having a giant pot sitting right here, boiling the crawfish and the corn and the sausage and the garlic, all the fixings. With all that being said, why serve Creole and Cajun dishes in a city that has its own tradition when it comes to food? Simple answer. It's good, and it's a missing void in San Fran. Yeah, there's a handful of us trying to do some southern food here, but for the most part, it's... Uh, you know, just everybody comes up what they want here, so having only a few spots to offer this style of food, uh, I think it's great. People really love it, and people love New Orleans, so I do not love this place. 